everybody, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate.com, and we're here, uh, normally these studios and these, uh, this forum uh, we use for our video university. However, we have a new product here, um, which is the long-awaited and much promised B4 relay for two-thirds inch cameras. So here we have an HBX 500, um, pretty popular in the world of two-thirds inch cameras. Uh, due to its light sensitivity and low noise, and that's why we like the camera. What we have here on the front, though, is something that you haven't seen before, which is the world's first and only multi-format imaging relay. So what does this do? Well, first of all, uh, we're going to show you, obviously, what this camera looks like with the Fujinon lens out there, but the Fujinon lens that comes with the camera is worth about $8,000. It's a zoom lens. It actually does breathe significantly. Um, and as a lens goes, I guess for $8,000, it's a pretty good lens. Um, for cinema, though, it has some properties that we're not crazy about. The big thing, though, is that you can't really get the depth of field you can with a 35 millimeter adapter, even at two thirds inch, um, as you would shooting with this system. So this system is a little bit longer than the Fujinon lens. However, now we have the ability to put any lens we want on the front, use it with a standard Brevis MP.1 or 2 or Rev2 imaging adapter. The relay replaces the stock Fujinon lens and gives you the ability to do things that no other adapter in the world can do. One, and the big thing, is by twisting this ring, we can use a 35 millimeter lens out front and we can use, and we'll show you a representation of what that frame looks like, but that is a full 36 millimeter wide frame, no crop factor. So if you've got a 17 millimeter lens out front, what this camera is capturing is the field of view of a 17 millimeter lens. Now, with a conventional relay, if you put a 17 millimeter SLR lens on, and if the relay is designed to relay a smaller image, which they all are, um, and the smaller image would be typical of a cinema frame, about 22 millimeters wide. So you're taking a 36 millimeter wide image and you're cutting out nearly 50% of it. And your 17 millimeter lens is now maybe a 35 millimeter lens, effectively. Uh, so you throw away the entire field of view that you got with that nice, in, in our case, we really like the Nikon 17 to 35 millimeter lens. So the relay, uh, target pricing for this relay is still $2,500 US. What does it let you do? It lets you zoom from cinema format. So if you had some fancy Cook PL mount lenses and they project a smaller image, no problem. You twist here, this effectively adjusts, and now you've got full frame width on a uh, cinema lens like a Cook or a Zeiss or whatever you're using. We've got a Zeiss 50 millimeter out here, which is an SLR format lens. So we would just twist here. Now we have full frame on that. Um, this really also has a back focus adjustment and you'll note that they're all locking. Um, so you can lock your back focus and of course you can lock your frame size and by the way anything in between is cool too. So if you've got a cine lens that actually some cine lenses project a fairly wide frame you can technically frame it differently by just adjusting here which we think is pretty cool and then locking it and of course we have our aperture adjustment out front. So the aperture is integrated obviously into the unit. You'll notice that it's completely internal focusing and completely internal. Uh, there's no breathing whatsoever in terms of the physical length. So as you can see, it's mounted up on our system here, but I can twist this all I want. Unlike many zoom lenses, it's not changing length, so I don't have to go and adjust anything. Same thing with back focus, all internal, um, which we think is pretty cool. And for $2,500, without question, the best value in the industry. So. If you've got a Rev2 Brevis 35 and you have an HPX 500, this is the lens you've been waiting for. More coming soon.